Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video about physics, I'm going to talk about material density using Visual Components 4.1. Material density directly relates to the mass of an object. So in the 3D world I have a layout open, which you can find a link to in the video description. What I did is created a simple seesaw here. So we have two objects that are the same shape and they have the same mass and also the same density. So when I run this simulation, given the tessellation of our cylinder, our system it falls in this direction here. So if we reset and we want our seesaw to fall in this direction, how can we do that? Well, an easy way is to change the shape of one of these objects. So let's make this cylinder here smaller than its counterpart here. So this way, this object will have less mass than this object. Let's go to our component properties panel and I'll change the cylinder height from 200 to 50. So even though these two components have the same density, this one has less mass than this one. So the system should fall in this direction now. Run the simulation and that's what happens. Let's reset and return our cylinder to its original shape. Set cylinder height back to 200. Now instead of changing the shape of objects, we can change its density. To do that, I'll select the cylinder here. I'll now go to the modeling tab. If you don't have access to the modeling tab, it's okay. Just follow along. In the component graph panel, I'll expand the root node and its behaviors and select the physics entity behavior here. Let's now go over here. And in the properties panel, you can see that by default material density is set to zero. Now, this does not mean zero. This is actually using the default value of density in the application, which is 0 0.2 kilograms per cubic meters. So let's say that we make this object here more dense than the counterpart here. So instead of 0 or 0 0.2, let's use 100. Run the simulation. And yep, <laughs> we got a kind of a uh, seesaw effect where this object fell really quickly and catapulted our cylinder all the way over here. <laughs> Interesting. So you can play around with more density settings. For example, 1000, I believe, is the density of fresh water. Ooh, there you go. So we just keep on moving our cylinder all the way over here. And let's see, I think aluminum is 2700. So we can test that out. 2700. Run the simulation. Oop, there we go. And you could just play around with more values. I believe lead is around 11,000. And let's see what happens. Yep, a similar result. Let's now try our original test. So right now the density of our cylinder is 11,000. Let's do the same for this cylinder here. So I'll select it and go to the component graph panel. Expand the root node and its behaviors and select the physics entity behavior and set its material density to 11,000. So now we shouldn't see that catapult effect where this cylinder is just, you know, launched all the way over here. And yep. But now we have a different scenario where these objects were way too dense for this beam here to support their weight. So it eventually just crashed down and the two objects fell to the floor. So just be aware of those issues when you're working with objects in the 3D world and you need to make them more dense or less dense to affect the load they put on other objects. Let's reset the simulation. And that completes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day.